Hi, I'm back here again in Swift Paws back office and in this video I'm going to be talking a little bit more about keyboards and the keyboard designer, specifically creating um, filtered searches for categories or groups of products. In the last video um, I did create a juice category uh, and product group. Um, I've since populated that with products. as you can see here. And in the fourth video, I did go through how to add individual products to the keyboard designer. Um, now you don't want to do that in every circumstance. You don't really need every single product on the keyboard. Um, in some instances, you might like to just have a button which links to um, a set of products. Um, and that's what I'm going to walk you through here. So I'm going to start here in Connect Touch Settings and Keyboards. And I'm going to open the keyboard that I'll be working on, which is this top one. And I'm na going to navigate to the layout that I'll be working on, uh, which is actually going to be the one we're already on, Cafe. So I'd like to have a button up the top here, which uh, is a single button and links to um, all of the five uh, juice products that I've created. And I'm going to do that using a filtered search button that searches for every product within a specific category. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my blank key here. And in the link type, I'm going to choose function and click on the little ellipse to choose which function I'll use. You can search for either the number, uh, if you know it, or just the name of the function. In this case, it's going to be filtered search. There it is. And now I can specify how that button should work. So in the more settings of that button, I can choose to filter either by category, group, or family, which we haven't looked at yet, but we will. Um, and I want to choose category in this example. So I'm going to select the juice category. And down a, a little bit further, you do have different ways of sorting your products. Um, especially useful if you have quite a lot of products in that uh, category. I'm just going to use default sorting for now. Okay. And I want to change the caption to be a little bit more descriptive to say juice. And you can change the color. Now that I've uh, created the juice button to function the way I want it to, I need to send those changes down to my terminal for that to take effect. I've already done this, um, however, I'm going to walk you through it again just to give you an idea of how that works. So I'll navigate to Connect Touch Settings and Touch Pause Terminals. And I've gotten one of my terminals online here. This is running on the local computer. So I'm going to highlight that guy and click on Full Update. And that's going to send an update down to the terminal, which I'll drag over just now. So you can see that the update button has turned yellow and it says pending changes. Um, you can click on that when you're ready to apply those changes and click on apply pending full update. And you can see that on my cafe layout, I now have my juice filtered search button. So if I click on that, it will display all of the different products that are in the category that I set on my filtered search. There are a few different ways of getting this same result or a similar result, uh, which I will cover in future videos. Um, I hope that's been helpful though. Um, in the next video, I do hope to touch a little bit more on keyboards um, and keyboard layouts. 
um, so keep an eye out for that one. Thanks for watching and as always if there are any questions go ahead and leave me a comment in the description. Thanks.